I'm Farrah Kareem Cooper and Head of Higher Education and Research at Shakespeare's Globe. And uh, I've been involved in the New Oxford Shakespeare um, as a theater advisory board member. And so what that means is that I've been um, providing uh, advice, answering questions from the, from the editors about uh, performance issues. Um, and uh, what you realize is that a lot of English students, in fact, in English programs, um, students don't really learn a kind of critical vocabulary for talking about performance because they're so focused on studying literature and studying the plays as literature. Um, but there's actually a growth area in English studies which focuses on performance. And so we're required as, as undergraduates and graduate students and professors to know how to talk about something we see on stage with the same sort of authority that we would to talk about a piece of text. Um, so the New Oxford Shakespeare is actually quite helpful in that regard. It, is, uh, it helps to preempt some of the questions that students might have about performance. To be able to imagine or read stage practices into um, a piece of poetry, for example, is something that some of the notes in the uh, New Oxford Shakespeare will help students towards. Uh, so for example, uh, not just stage directions that provide exits and entrances, um, but but it instead it's providing um, a series of options of performance choices that an actor might make in a given moment. Um, particularly if, for example, in some situations in Shakespeare, you have a character who's on stage but hasn't had any line for about 30, 40 lines, uh, what is that character doing? There's some instances in the New Oxford Shakespeare where you might, uh, where there's a suggestion about what that uh, actor might be doing. The introductions to the plays have provided students with um, a range of possibilities for interpretation. They're not prescriptive. Uh, they don't tell students what to think about the plays. Instead, they, they give students options uh, for interpretation um, and talk about performance histories and performance possibilities and um, the performance capacity of each of the plays. Um, I think the images as well that are used in this edition uh, of different productions staged from over the years provide uh, professors and students with um, a range of ways of thinking about different scenes. How has one director staged one scene versus how another director has done that? What we seem to forget is that Shakespeare's plays have a very important visual component and the visual is part of the meaning. Uh, and so it's important for students to be able to um, imagine how a play might be staged while they're reading it.